Well, hello guys, good evening. Walter, hello, how are you? I'm fine, sir. That's great, that's great. Let me just text everybody that it is time. So how was your day, Walter, tell me. So-so. Mm, So-so, why? Uh, it's a busy day. A busy day? Yeah. Well, it's Monday, Monday seems to be busy. Yeah. But you are relaxed now at home. Yes, uh, it's at home 5 p.m. No, 5.30. 5 okay. 5.30. You have to say, I came home. What? I came home. I stay home. No, I came. Vine. Uh, I came home 5.30. Yep. 5.30 p.m. Okay. That's cool. 5.30, it's okay. Yeah. So Before you're... It's very... Cerca. Near. Near? Yeah, it's very near. near. You can say near, you can say close. It is acceptable. It's very near my book. That's cool. That's actually cool. Yeah. So you don't have yeah. problems with traffic. I mean... You don't have that type of stress on you. No, really. It's the best traffic. It's in the city in Romania. Okay. It's, it's complicated. It's complicated. Oh, really? Yeah. It's sometimes. Downtown. It's downtown. El centro. Right? Yeah. Downtown. Downtown Armenia. Downtown. Like this. That means el centro de la ciudad, okay? It's not only downtown, it's all Armenia. It's crazy to Mondays. Oh, really? On Mondays, <laughs> on Mondays. On, Monday, on Mondays. Oh, it's well, very crazy. Everywhere is crazy on Mondays. I mean, traffic is terrible Mondays. Yeah, it's true. But the good not is very very busy but yeah but i mean um, today i stay very angry in the morning but they i mean 5 30 man that's early that's very early the monday this day for me in the morning i stay very very angry i i don't know why oh really yeah so mondays are not good for you this morning is not good for me. Oh, today. I don't know why. I don't, uh, I don't understand. That happens. That happens. Yeah. Perhaps you step down on the wrong side of the bell. Se levantó del lado equivocado. That happens. Maybe. Man, that happens to me. Maybe it's a stick yeah. of morning. Yeah. Sometimes I wake up happy and two minutes after I wake up, I'm angry. Yeah. Yeah. Mondays are stressful. <laughs> well, thank you, Walter. Nice talking to you. Okay, teacher. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hey, Vladimir, where are you? Oh, right there. Hello, Vladimir, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm just I'm fine, great. sorry, I'm fine. Uh, but I try to repair my video. Oh, really? Yes, always have the, the same issue. I, I fail. I don't know what is. I guess my son touched that. Well. Well, but I can see you clearly. Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm okay. So, so, how was your day, Vladimir? Good. A lot of work because it's Monday. Oh, really? Yes. yes. The same told me, the same was telling me, Walter. Yeah, Mondays are crazy. <laughs> Why, teacher? Well, I don't know. I mean, Mondays are like there's traffic. There's uh, uh, they're always stressful. In my case, well, I had to go to work in the morning, and I came back at noon, and then work on the computer, and then I had a meeting, and after I got a meeting at six thirty. I just finished a meeting. So, uh, 
I my really day. I really uh, a yes. lot of things to do. Yeah, my day is very very long, and I have to send uh, homeworks and activities and prepare them, and I'm also checking homeworks. I mean, I receive like uh, what yesterday, just yesterday, on Sunday, I received a hundred and twenty nine different pictures of homeworks oh my god that was just yesterday <laughs> i checked them out around 6 p.m at 8 p.m i have 39 more pictures <laughs> so this is crazy man for me it's crazy i mean i'm checking and checking and checking well actually uh I have one cell phone just for one of my jobs. Just for one of your job? Yes, one cell phone is specifically for one job that I got because I, I received, I mean, uh, I was just cleaning it. From last year, I have 10,000 pictures. 10,000 pictures? 16 photographs just of homeworks. Besides, 200 PDF, aparte de 200 archivos en PDF, like a hundred videos, 100 videos, and a bunch of audios, is cantidad de audio. So I mean, it's crazy, man. Uh, I guess. Yeah. Well, I received two bad news today. Oh, really? Yes. The the other the house that I had rent. Uh, how do you say falleció? Okay, the owner of the house you rent, oh, passed yeah. away. Passed yes. away. Passed away today. Oh, really? Yes. Ouch. That's complicated. Yes, I, I, I want to go to La Vela. How do you say La Vela? Okay, uh, some people say funeral and some people say viewing. Okay, I'm gonna go to funeral with my wife later. Some people say viewing. Viewing, yes. okay. And a friend of my father-in-law. Yes. That, is, that was a mechanic. Who was a mechanic? Uh, the, a friend of, of my father-in-law. Who uh, was a mechanic? You who said was that. a mechanic? Okay, perfect. Ah, who was a mechanic? Uh, recent piece today. Also pass away? Yes, also oh, pass away. Oh my But God. he dies the COVID? Oh, geez. That's terrific. Yeah, that's terrible. No, not terrific. Terrible. Terrible, okay. Yeah, terrific is that's terrible. good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> terrible. Sorry. Be careful. Sorry. Be careful. Sure, sure. Yeah, yes. That's remember, ter terrible. Remember, remember, everybody, if you say terrific, it's great. <laughs> no, no. Sorry. Terrible is that, bad. That's terrible. Yes, terrible. Yeah. Because he was yeah. a good mechanic. Yeah, and the circumstances are different because you cannot be seated, you cannot be with the family no. mm -mm. i mean yeah it's understandable that uh, the conditions the situations are pretty different but well that's yes. the way it is vladimir thank you very much yes, nice talking to you. okay nice talking to you okay let's see who else is around susana hello susana how are you hello hi hello susana oh that's how I like to see you smiling. Oh, How are I you? I'm so angry. Really? It wasn't angry, me. angry. It wasn't me. You know what? No, something like it stops the job. Right. The people. Some stuff from my job. Some stuff from my job. That's correct. Yeah, but yeah. remember, Susana, tomorrow is going to be another day. Yes, but... ¿Cómo se dice que, que, o sea, que, que ya está el daño? O sea, ya 
te lo hicieron. Yeah, 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 I know, I know what so you no, mean. ¿Cómo se dice? I mean, the damage is done already. The damage is... ¿Cómo? The damage is done already. The damage is done already. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so I won't ask yeah. you how was your day. Pues no le pregunto cómo fue su día. No, 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 no. What time did you get home, Susana? No, it's no good. What time did you get home? I stay here. I stay here. I make home office. Okay. That's, well, at least that's yes. good. You stay yes, home. Yes, yes. That's yes. nice. Well, yes. thank you, Susana. Nice having you here in class. Let's see, Mauricio. Where are you, Mauricio? Mr. Hello, mister. How are you? Hi. Hi. And you? I'm just great. Good evening. So tell me, how was your day? Good. Uh -oh. yeah, Sasa. I don't believe <laughs> you that much when you tell me, uh, good. Come on, man. So, what did you ah, do today? Um, very busy. Um, eh, lo mismo de siempre, o sea, pero igual con cosas nuevas y cosas que hacer. Okay, yeah, the same routine with a little bit else. La misma rutina con un poquito. Uh, la, the, yes. Okay, okay, let's see. Let's see, I'm sorry, just that Claudia is telling me that she's going to connect very soon. That's great. Let's see who else, who else, who else. Uh, Don't worry. Okay, so tell me, what time did you get home today, Mauricio? I'm uh, home in... At, at six... At six? Six. Okay. Six thirty. Six thirty. Okay, that's not late. No, no. Uh, uh, late. Little or poco, no sé. Yeah, little. Little traffic. Oh, really? Okay, just give me a second, guys. Just give me a second. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Where are you, Mauricio? Estoy comiendo mango. Oh, oh, uh, oh really? <laughs> uh, yes. That's something I do not like either. Tampoco. No, I don't eat mango. No, teacher. You are no Salvadorian. Yeah, you know, mangoes are not for me. I'll... In my salt, head. salt, and chile, porque no sé, salsa picante, salsa, yeah. no sé hot, qué. Hot sauce, hot sauce. Y al waste. Ah, uh, either. Nah. <laughs> no. Either. No, I no sé de dónde es usted. Eso, no. I don't eat, I don't eat mango. I don't like that. Mango verde, mango mm -hmm. verde. Worse, peor aún. Y de ahí sigue mango sazón. Dígame cómo se dice, por favor. Ok, hold on. Even words. Pero ya está peor. riendo Susana, que eso es importante. Yeah. Ok, <laughs> right. Los sazón es en inglés. Yeah, but not in the way we use it here. Ah, oh, ok. No es el mismo because, significado, entonces. No, the, the situation is this. When you talk about, actually, the, the meaning of the word, Sazón, realmente el significado de la palabra sazón, it means taste. Es un término culinario relacionado con el sabor. Y nosotros lo usamos como entre antes del maduro y, y después del verde. Yes, exactly. That's the difference. O sea, que okay. se dice no tan maduro. Yeah. No tan maduro. Yeah. yeah, but I don't like them either. Never. That's terrible. No, teacher. You are no, you, you no, no. No, it's Salvador. I know, I know. No. Pupusas. 
con que después me diga mangoneadas, me imagino que menos. Never. Eh, pasteles. Aceptable, yeah. O sea, y todavía lo piensa. No, aceptable. They're, they're aceptable. I pass con that. que me diga que tampoco toma chuco. Oh, I do. I like it. Ah, I like Por ahí it. sí. It's the only thing, the only thing that I can pass with uh, that, that little powder. ¿Cómo es el polvo verde? Alguaste. Yeah. Al alguaste. The only one. Alguaste. Alguaste. <laughs> y cuesta hallarlo ahora. Bueno, por lo menos a mí me ha costado hallarlo. <laughs> uh, actually, here, no. Where I live, no. You find it around the corner. Aquí se encuentra en la vuelta de la esquina. But... Aquí me costó que me lo encontraran. Uh, uh, I don't like that. Porque you know what? Es la fruta de la noche. In my house, my wife, when when mangoes are are ripe, cuando los mangos están sazones o maduros, she gets a big receipt like this, full of mangoes. She sits in the sofa and she can eat like five, ten of them on a row. Ella se puede cruzar. Like normal. She loves them. And my mother in law. My mother in law. My mother in law is exactly the same. Mi suegra es lo mismo. They love mangoes. And I. Uh, Susana, usted qué dice? Mangos. Mangos maduros. Me los maduros no mucho. Mango maduro Mango sí maduro. yo look no at, mucho. Look at this sentence. Look at this sentence. I abhor them. Oh, I, aborrece eso. Yes. I nah. cannot. I don't like it. Yo el mango maduro sí lo abor. No, no es algo. No me gusta estar con esa sensación ripe, de todo. Ripe. Say no, pero ripe. No, es mango peludo. No, no, no. But Menos. saying ripe, Susana. Ripe. ripe. Ripe, ripe is maduro. Yes. Ripe is maduro. Yes, exactly. So okay. you gotta say ripe. Well, thank Come you, on. Mauricio. Nice talking to you. Let's see who else is around. <laughs> Roxana, hello, Roxana. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day, miss? I'm very busy. Okay, are you back in San Salvador? Yes. Oh, the... that's cool. Saturday. Since, 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 this day. Since. 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 Yes. Since. Saturday. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You are going to be more like better connection. Yes. <laughs> that's excellent. That's excellent. I like that. Because remember, the attendance is very, very important. Yes, okay. teacher. Okay, yes, just, just let me text the rest of the class that they should be here. Sandy, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Hello, Sandy. Hello, Sandra. Hello, Sandy. 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 It's incredible. I am missing Sandra. I am missing Karen. I am missing Mr. Arana. I am missing Evelyn. I am missing Claudia. I'm missing a lot of people. Half of the class. All in vacation, teacher. Yeah, but there's no vacation for the courses, and I need to <laughs> give some announcements today. So, tell me, Roxana, uh, how was your day? What did you do today? Uh, <laughs> I breakfast with my family. Okay, great. My da my daughter and daughter? my daughter. daughter, daughter, and my husband. Okay. All family. That's cool. That's cool. And what lunch. about what about lunch? Did you stay home or you went to work? Uh, no almorzamos. Es que fue desalmuerzo. Okay, at what time did you have breakfast, Roxana? Yes. At what time? La calaca. No, what time? Ah, on the 10. At 10? Oh 10. my gosh, she was late. 
yes. <laughs> but that's cool to be able to enjoy with your family. Excellent, excellent. That's mm -hmm. nice. Well, and you teacher, me. what's your the special day? Yesterday? Mm -hmm. Yesterday, oh my gosh, yesterday. What Valentine's day? day? Valentine's. Let me see, I was explaining to your classmates that yesterday I was checking like, uh, in the end, I still around 7, 8 p.m. I was still receiving homeworks. So, I was just working and preparing material for classes for this week. And that's what we do on Sundays, actually, in my house. All work. Yep. Actually, my, my, my no, wife. No, no celebration. My wife was working all day long until around 7.30 in the computer, preparing classes for this week also. Mi esposa también oh. estuvo hasta las 7.30 de la noche preparando clases. So, in my house. Is, is so, teacher... Sundays are is, very is teacher hard. your wife? Yep, she's also an English teacher. Compa, eh, comparten the same profession. Yep, we met at the university. Oh. We were classmates at the university, that's why. Mm, okay. Uh, that's, okay. Where, that's the place where she saw me and she said, ah, oh. ahí es donde me <laughs> That's where I oh. grab me. Nice talking to you, Roxana. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Vanessa, hello, Vanessa. How are you? Vanessa. Hello, hello. Okay, I think she is not able. Okay, let's see, let's see. Vladimir, where are you, Vladimir? Need to see you. Hello. Hello, Vladimir. Well, I need to take the attendance. Before I yes. before we do anything else, let me get the attendance. Amparo was here and she disconnected. I don't know what happened to her. Oh, there's Amparo. That's great. That's great because I'm going to get the attendance right now. Okie dokie, let me see. Just give me a second. I need to get my sheet for sure. Yes, mister. I got a question. Tell me. How many, how many faltas? How do you say faltas? Absentees? How many, how many absentees permits in Sephora? Oh, well, actually they say never. <laughs> really? Yeah, but you have to get the minimum of the 80%. Yeah. 80% of the attendance. Okay, guys, I'm going to get the attendance right now. So let's see. Amparo Yajaira Melendez de Molina. Oh, she's present. I know she's present. She's here, but I guess connection problem. Don't worry, Amparo. Don't worry. I can see you here. Okay, guys, remember, if you can, please activate your cameras so I can see you. Mostly, even more when I get, I'm getting the attendance, please. Thank you. Okay, Antonia Elizabeth, not here. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Yep. Edwin Daniel Sevillano. Present teacher. Thank you, mister. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Indiana de Jesús Obando. Absent, Indiana Maria Doña Estrada, absent, Ivani Elizabeth Rodriguez, I think she's here, no, no Ivani, okay, Karen Alejandra Flores, mm. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla, present teacher, Thank you. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Perez. Present teacher. Thank you. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Not here. Sonia Mabel Lazo. Not here either. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Thank you. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Present teacher. 
Well, she's here. And Vladimir Antonio Martinez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortez. Present teacher. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. And Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar, absent. So I got. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, Mr. Vladimir, you got your homework in your computer. Can you show it to us, please? No, on my computer, I got my cell phone. But okay. I try to download on my computer. If you give me uh, a minute. Okay, perfect, perfect. Do you remember, guys, that we were working and that I asked you to do a small homework the other day? You were supposed to have work on the telling me the activities about the, in the morning, in the afternoon, and it could be about yourself or about a classmate. So Vladimir is trying to share with us his activities, his. Okay, so in the morning, he says that he gets up at 6 a.m., then brush his teeth, take a shower, and dress out for the office in the morning. He usually takes his wife to her workplace at 7 p.m. Then. At 7.40, he has breakfast in the cafeteria. And while he waits for her, no, he waits for check-in at 8.30. Okay. Yes, that, that meaning that, uh, espero mientras que sea yeah. mi hora de entrada. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. Perfect. Then he reads the newspaper in internet, check his email at 8.30, and look, if it is necessary if it is necessary remember vladimir always the subject if it is necessary right here okay sorry okay now what i want you to see is the idea okay now we are going to do something a little bit different hello sonia good evening say Happy Happy Say birthday, present. Sonia. Say present. Hello, so hello, Luciano. Say present. 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 Okay. Vladimir said happy birthday. Thank you, Vladimir. Oh, yeah, it's true. That's why she's so dressed up. Por eso la vemos tan arreglada. Ah, Sonia. Sonia. Aunque sea un día. Where are you coming from? ¿Qué? ¿Qué? Where ¿Qué are fue? you? Yes, we can see balloons over there. Vemos hasta balloons behind you. Ah, Vemos no, pero del trabajo. Ajá, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Me okay. lo traje. That's cool. Dress up. I mean, I am formal right now, okay? But when I say dress up, what I mean is even more formal or elegant, okay? Ah, okay. So Sonia is very dressed up today. Ah, uh -huh, that's why. Thank you. Well, happy birthday, Miss. Gracias. Muchas where's, gracias. Where's the cake? Everybody was waiting for the cake. Okay. Ya no hay nada. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's bad, that's bad. Okay, cool. Let's see, guys. Uh, what I was telling you is that you check the Vladimir's activity, right? Oh, there's Karen also. I'm sorry, guys. I need to get her into the attendance right now. Karen, say present, please. Karen Alejandra Flores. She didn't say present. Okay, never mind. Well, you saw Vladimir's activity. So, stating his activities in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening. Now, you will have five minutes you will be working in pairs what are you going to do the activities as follow following vladimir's example you are going to tell your classmate your daily activities okay what you do in the morning what you do in the afternoon what you do in the evening that means that i need to see long sentences i don't need you to be writing just speak in english i will be passing by all the group checking out that you do it okay and besides before i move on eh, con algunos de ustedes tengo unas actividades que 
Creo que solo Edwin y Vladimir me han enviado. Ok, I'm, some of you, algunos de ustedes hasta hoy les envié. So, I know that you still got time. But some of you had it from before, don't forget. Algunos de ustedes los tenían desde antes, no se les olvide enviármelo. Y el otro les voy a enviar una actividad extra, ok? But don't worry, it's easy cheesy. So, let's see, I'm going to divide you in groups. Questions about the activity? Preguntas con la actividad? No? Ok, let's see, let me check out the groups. Ok, groups are perfect. Ok, ok, guys. Let's jump in, please. Five minutes, no more. que me pasa en varias máquinas se actualiza, bueno, se actualiza Windows te da pantalla uh -huh. Eso en inglés es Blue Screen of Dead BSD sí. Blue Screen of Dead Blue Screen of Dead ah. triste, triste vaya mi estimado ¿qué es lo que tengo que hacer? Eh, just tell him in English ¿Ah? just tell him in activities Just the morning, <laughs> the afternoon, and the evening. Okay, my morning and the Mr. Arana. Hello, Mr. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine, thank you, teacher, and you? I'm just great, just great. Uh, look, uh, Edwin, your classmate for this activity, he's still in the car going to his to his house. El todavía va de camino a casa. So, El va I'm, manejando. Sí. Yeah, I'm going to move you to another group, okay? Lo voy a mandar a usted a otro grupo ahorita. Okay. Okay, okay I'm going to send Thank you, you with uh, let's see room number three. I take uh, my lunch. Uh -huh. Review my cell phones. Email. Check. Text, email. Check my cell phone. Take review. No. Take. No review. Check. Uh, no, check. 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 Yep. check my cell phone. I call uh -huh. my daughter. 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 Uh -huh. uh, I call customer for collect. Okay, for collecting. For collecting. Yeah, the situation is this, Roxana. Whenever you have the preposition for, siempre que tenga la preposición for, y después de ella pone a verb, This verb goes in ing. Siempre que tengamos la preposición for y después le ponemos un verbo, ese verbo va en ing. For listening, for collecting, okay. for studying, for working. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you for the clarification. You're welcome. In the evening, in the evening, my activity is arrive at home. Uh -huh. I cook dinner. I check my daughter home. 725 or 720 or 720. O sea, yes. Yeah. 727 or 720 or 730. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
Vamos a ver qué hago por la tarde. Sol. And you are in the morning, she gets ready at say tea time. Hello, Hugo. Good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello. Let's see. Let's see. You are Hugo Ernesto Arevalo. Say present, please. Present, teacher. Present, Thank teacher. You. Hello, Hugo. <laughs> How are you? Hello, teacher. How was hey. your day? Ah, uh, heavy. A <laughs> uh, heavy day. Yeah, heavy, I, can, heavy. I can tell. I can tell because it, you are not heavy. usually late. Yes. 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 But the good thing is that you're here. No problem. No problem. The good thing is that you're okay. here. Lo bueno es que está acá. Okay, teacher. Okay, doki. Let's see. Who is going to start? Let's check it out. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Happy birthday, Sonia. You start. Hmm. Um, me puedo sentar un momento que recibí visita de mi hermano y mi okay, cuñado. Ok, ok, no, no problem, no problem. Préstame. Ok. Solo no se me desconecte. Ok, yo voy a tratar que sea rápido. Uh -huh. No problem, no problem. Gracias. No problem. We understand. Yeah, yeah. Gracias. Enjoy. Yeah. Fue el viejo truco para no participar. No, <laughs> se lo presento. <laughs> Never mind, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's see. Okay. Vladimir, your turn. Just tell me about your classmate. Ah, well, my partner is Mauricio. He wakes up at 6 a.m. Okay. He goes out to the office at 7.10. When he is in the office, he checks in at 8 a.m. He checks emails until 8.30 a.m. Okay. He revisits inventory stocks until 9 a.m. And sorry, teacher, no nos alcanzó el tiempo. How do you say in English? Okay. I'm we sorry. Didn't, we didn't have enough time. Okay, we didn't have enough time. No problem, Vladimir. Ask him, please, what does he do in the evening? Okay. Mauricio, what does what what do what? you do in the evening? <laughs> Sorry. In the evening. Yep. In the noche. Yes, yeah, yep. when you come to your home. Okay. Um home in at say six thirty. Perfect. PM. Um diner. Have dinner. Have and dinner and until seven, seven, seven thirty. Between, between. Between, between. Entre, Entre siete, siete treinta. At watch the TV. Thirty, no. ¿Cómo se dice quince, perdón? Fifteen. 15 minutes. Okay. Um, eight, 8 p.m. the class. Okay. Just start English from 8 to 10. Okay, what time do you go to sleep, Mauricio? Um, middle... Midnight. Night. Midnight. 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 Okay. okay, Mauricio, say with me. I go to bed at midnight. I go to bed midnight. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mauricio. Gracias, Vladimir. <laughs> okay, Walter, please, Walter, tell me. Yeah, Walter Arana, I'm sorry. Walter Arana. 
All right, teacher. Mm. Lo comparto lo mío porque cuando me direccionó. Yeah, yeah. tell us about you. Okay. In the morning, I get um, every I get every day at six a.m. I take a bath and get ready. I usually have breakfast at 7 a.m. Okay, perfect. The, I drive the, the office for 10 minutes is in, in the morning. Okay. In the afternoon, I get home for lunch. Can return a uh, office to the office to the office at uh, 3 p.m. Take a coffee and um, fine um, finish work. Okay. okay. In the in the evening 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 evening. evening. I take dinner at 7 p.m. and later start English class. Do I'll do at 10 p.m. If the children are awake, I play why they with um, them. Okay, then we is, sleep. I'm sorry. With them. With them, con ellos. With them, yo di, they, they. Yes. Sorry. No, no problem. Look, the difference is this. Look, uh, in Spanish, we use the same word as a subject in the beginning as in the end. En español, cuando queremos referirnos con un pronombre de una persona al inicio o al final de una oración, usamos lo mismo. El y él al final. Like... Uh, Eh, él no lo escucha a él, right? We say the same the same word, but in English, at the beginning we use personal pronoun. Al inicio usamos pronombres personales. I, you, he, she, it, we, they. But at the end, al final que son, they are called objective pronouns. And this is interesting. I will, I mean, I'm sorry guys. I will explain for everybody better. Okay, let's do it like this. This is very interesting. So look, like I like having classes, classes with you. Look at this sentence, guys, okay? Now, in this case, we have personal pronoun, Okay, we have personal pronouns and we also have adjective pronouns. Now, the difference between these two, oops, I'm sorry. The difference with them is the, is this look, the personal pronouns comes at the beginning and the objective pronouns come at the end, okay? Now, the personal pronouns are I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, right? These are personal pronouns. Now, the objective pronouns. The objective pronouns is me, me you, they, you, him, his, it, you, us, you, and them. Okay? 
these are the oops i'm sorry these are the objective pronouns so we have for i we got me for you we got you for he we got him for she we got her for it it's the same it for we us again for you in singular and in plural is the same and for they we got them okay guys any question and your teacher you no no, no. that's possessive and look these are objective okay so let's not get confused with possessive and objective they are very very different Thank you, so teacher. When do we use the objective? When we want to refer to the person, but at the end of the sentence. Utilizamos los objetivos cuando nos queremos referir a la persona, pero al final de la oración. Okay. And guys, okay, I just sent you this. I just sent it to the group so you can check it out. Okay. You got that information, everybody. Yeah, it's always good when we get when we get something like this new, interesting. Now let's see, let's see who was who was who was going to explain to me. Mauricio did it already. Walter did it. Vladimir did it. Susana, Susana, my dear, please tell me. Hi, I Hi. work with Walter Jose Ruiz. Okay, tell me about Walter and, Ruiz. Okay, he get up at. 630 a.m. Okay. At 635, he at takes six, a bath. At 635. At 635. 635, yes. Okay. He takes a bath. At 645, uh, he changed. And at 7, he goes to work and arrives at work at 720 or 7.30. Okay. Everything is perfect. Just look at this. He gets dressed. Gets dressed. Get dressed. Okay. Eso aplica para, bueno, igual, cambiarse, ponerse, quitar. Vestirse, no. Eso es vestirse. Get dressed. The other one is to get, to get undressed. Okay. Eso es de vestirse. Okay. But remember, it's, it's to take off these clothes, not to get naked. Naked is. Esa última que le puse es. With no clothes, nothing. En traje de Adán. O okay. de Eva, okay. valga el caso. Okay? That's naked. <laughs> okay. I take note of that. Okay, okay, perfect. So, continue. We, we don't finish with oh, okay him. we didn't only with me okay me. perfect so no problem walter tell me about susana please hello teacher yes. susana she got ready at uh, 6 a.m in the morning um is she he is she has to go to the office okay she has to go to the office she leaves home she leaves home at 7 a.m. and arrives at work at 8 a.m. Okay, perfect, Walter. Arrives. Arrives. Arrive. Continue. But oh, that's it. I think we got connection problems. Let's see who else is around. Who else? Roxana. What about you, Roxana? I work with Sonia. Okay. My co-worker no. <laughs> Tell me about Sonia. <laughs> no. You didn't Sonia finish? No, lo vi. No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about your activities, Roxana. Okay, no problem. In the morning, I take a shower. Okay. I. That's good, that's I good. Think, I think, <laughs> I think 
and okay. I cook and take my breakfast between uh, 7 a.m. Excellent. I go to my work at uh, 7.30. Great. I do, I check in my work at uh, 8 o'clock. Okay. 8 o'clock. I do my weekly schedule. Oh my gosh, that's good. I take a coffee. A cup of Se coffee. A two or three coffee. Okay. In the day. <laughs> but we say a cup of coffee. We don't say I take a coffee or or I a have a cup. coffee. A cup. A, a cup. A cup. A yes. cup of coffee. Okay. Oh, I listen, read... listen, listen. I'm sorry, Roxana. Remember, if you have O F, si tenemos O F, just one F, you pronounce that F as a V. Si tiene esa F, solo una, la pronuncia como una V. Ob. Okay. Ob. 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 Okay. Perfect. I review, I review payment complaints. Okay, complaints. Complaints. In the afternoon, my activity are I take my lunch, uh -huh. review my, I know, check my cell phone. Cool. I call my daughter. Oh, that's nice. You check on your daughter. Yes. Call customer for collection. Okay, excellent. In the evening, my activity are arrive my home. Okay. Between uh, five thirty. City. Great. I cook dinner. Yes. For my family. I checking my during homework. Excellent. And taking my English class. Okay, cool. So you keep busy. Se mantiene ocupada. Yes. Excellent. Yes. Nice. Hello, Eve thank you very much, Roxana. Hello, Evelyn. Good evening. Oh my gosh. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Yeah, these ladies, all of them got like very glamorous tonight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's good to have you here, Evelyn. Hey, Claudia, good evening. I'm, my day, uh, um, heavy? I have today heavy. Uh, heavy day. No, no, no. I don't have it. Um, I, I have a pain in the body. Okay. Uh, eso hace como que no o sea, yeah, You feel uncomfortable. Day, you feel uncomfortable. Uh, I don't feel good. Yeah. Well, I'm so sorry to hear that. Como lamentamos oír eso. Okay, guys. Let's continue. Thank you, Evelyn. Let's continue, Thank guys. You. No, thanks to you. Okie dokie. Let's see. Now, who's coming and leaving? Oh, Claudia. Claudia's got him having problems with connection. Let's see. Let's see. Today, besides the activity that we just did, that it was a review of uh, last class, today we are going to work with on in at do you remember that last week we used on in at let's see if you remember Veamos si nos acordamos. evelyn do you remember when did we use at cuando usábamos at at uh, when we use an hours uh, specific okay specific hours when we want to be precise Cuando queremos ser precise. Aquí. Perfect. Let's see, let's see. If... Uh, yes, una then? consulta and a question. And then let's exercise to the platform and the month. 
solicitor on. On. The class in. Yes, the situation is this, that uh, you got to be careful if after on viene un número. Tenemos que verificar si después de on viene un número. Um, si después del mes viene un número, ok? Ah, ok. That's what, the day. Yep, that's what makes the difference. The specific day. Ok, let's see. Hugo, when do we use in? Do you remember? In. Yes. Um, in years. Ok. Long. Uh, periodos largos? <laughs> Long periods of time. Long periods. Okay, así. Okay, perfect. Yes. Don't say así, Hugo, like that. Okay, like that. Ah, okay. <laughs> like that. Perfect. Thank like you. That. Yeah, no, okay. That's good. That's good. Those are little expressions that we have, and sometimes we don't remember how to say them. Son pequeñas expresiones que tenemos y a veces no sabemos cómo sirve. Let's see, let's see. When do we use on, Vladimir? Sorry, teacher. When do we use on? On. Yes. In day, on Wednesday. Okay, on the days. On the days. Uh, for... Mm. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Let's check a little bit about that. Thank you very much. Now let's see, oops. Uh, okay, let's see. On, let's go check, let's go back. Okay, let's see. On, look on Saturday, on January, on Monday. On Monday, February 5th. Oh, here, look, the date. Si tenemos la fecha específica. On, on Wednesday morning, in May, in 2018, in the summer, in the morning, okay? Now, why am I talking about this? Because they are prepositions of time, but today we are going to work with them as prepositions of place. Okay. Now, look at the first question. Ask some classmates where they where they work and the location of it. Also mention where you work and its location. Okay, let's see. Remember, you are going to ask your classmates job location like this. Let's make an example. Let's see. Um, okay, who are we going to ask? Mr. Uh, Mrs. Sonia, welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay, Sonia, tell me, where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? I'm fine, perdón. Ay, dije a El Salvador. Okay. Now listen. Where is it located? Sí. ¿Dónde se ubica? Where is it located? Um, eh, en, en Colonia San Francisco. Okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Thank you. That's what we are going to do in groups. But you have to run. You will have just three minutes. Because you are just going to ask, where do you work? Where is it located? Okay? Just those two questions. Okay? I'm going to text you the question. Where do you work? And where is it located? You got the questions there in the chat. Okay? Check them out. Now, I'm going to create the groups. And let's see. Perfect. Let's jump in, please.
teacher. Yes. Hey, ¿cómo estamos, po? Hola, teacher. Yes, Edwin. Puta, ¿cómo estamos, pues? Permito. Walter, again alone? Otra vez me lo dejaron solo. Hi, teacher. Don't worry, Walter. Sí. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, let's see. There you go. She worked, yeah, she worked is located in Colonia San Francisco, San Salvador, right? Her, her yeah. job, her, her job her is job. located. Her job is located in Colonia San Francisco. Uh, his company is Javier, Yep. Okay, his company is Javier. Okay. Mm, Susan. I work in laboratory files. At. At laboratory files. Spy. File. File. And, okay. Okie dokie, let's see. Mauricio, where do you work? I work in PDC Commercial El Salvador. Okay, where is it located? It is located in the highway, yes. Pan American. Okay, Pan American Highway. Ah, Pan American Highway, Pan American Highway, kilometer yes. 10 health. La mitad. Ok. Y ten, medio. Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Excellent. Thank you very much. La libertad. Ok. Excellent. That was what I was going to ask you. La libertad. Ok. Yeah. La libertad. Yeah, no yeah, podría yeah. ser de freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. That's ok. You have to say la libertad. That's the correct way. Es lo correcto. Ok. okay. Let's see. Let's see. Walter Arana. Hi, teacher. Where do you work, mister? I work in CLT. Okay, where is it located? Uh, I'm located in Ateos. Okay, it is located. It is... It because, is located in Ateos. Because we are talking about the company, okay? It is located. It is located. Okay, you can teacher. say... You can say it is located or you can say its location. Location. Its location is in Ateos. Okay? Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yes. Evelyn, where do you work, miss? I work in El Salvador. Okay, where is it located? Uh, it is located in Colonia San Francisco, San Salvador. Okay, Colonia San Francisco, San Salvador. Excellent, thank you. Vladimir, where do you work? Sorry, I'm speaking with my mute, mute microphone. I work at Banco Central de Reserva. Where is it located, mister? Uh, it's located in San Salvador. On Alameda Juan Pablo II. Okay, by Alameda Juan Pablo. Well, no, you can say by on. Al you can say on, on, on. Leave it like that. On yes. Alameda. Yes. Okay, Alameda. Now that word is very, very interesting. Alameda Juan Pablo II. Okay, is it in the corner of? In the corner of um, 15th Avenue, North Ave Avenue. En Alameda Juan Pablo II. Right? 
between 17 and 15 South, South Avenue. South Avenue, okay, perfect. Now, uh, that expression, Alameda, actually in English is like a boulevard, okay? In English is the same as a boulevard because the proper expression in Spanish, I mean, the proper meaning in Spanish for the word Alameda, una Alameda realmente en español es una sección de terreno donde caminamos. Well, it's located on Boulevard Juan Pablo II. Yeah, actually that, that would be the proper way, but in Spanish we call them Alamedas. En español también a esas calles le llamamos Alamedas, aunque no va a encontrar este, una traducción específica para Alameda porque, eh, como les digo, es un paseo peatonal. Realmente una Alameda es un paseo peatonal. That's the most, the most specific meaning in Spanish el significado más específico en español. Ok, gracias, teacher. Ah, no, 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 it's, it's just that sometimes I get cu curious with words. A veces me vuelvo curioso con las palabras. Let's see, thank you very much, Vladimir. Let's see, let's see. Roxana, what about you? Where do you work, miss? I work at the legal office or Cefinza. Ok, where is it located? The, it's located is downtown San Salvador. Oh, perfect. And remember, Roxana, legal, legal. Legal office. Thank you, Tish. You're welcome. Claudia Guadalupe, can you hear me, please? Good evening. Yes. Okay. Uh, Claudia, where do you work? Uh, Hello. I don't hear you. Okay, no problem, no problem. Later, later, don't worry. Let's, Hello? Let's see, let's see. Don't worry, later we're going to talk. Work in San Salvador. Oh. I work in San Salvador. Perfect. What is the name of the company? Oops, we lost her. Okay, let's see who else is around. Uh, Hugo, hello, Hugo. Hugo is in hiding. No teacher. no teacher. Hugo is in hiding mood today. Hoy está en modo escondido. Hello, Hugo. Where do yes. you work, Mister? I work in, in I work in CLT. Okay, where is it located, Mister? Mm, it's located. It's location in Ateos. La okay, libertad. perfect. Thank you very much. Now, guys, if you got your manuals ready, let's go to page number 39 again. We're going to be working on the manual and I'm going to be projecting here. No problem. Okay. Hey, are we finally home? That's cool. That's cool. So let's see. Okay, look at the map. I'm going to read the names of the places. We got a bank, we got a mall. A mall is like saying, uh, it's like saying what? Metro Centro, Plaza Mundo, Galerias. Those are malls. Restaurants, Arrows Company, Book World, City Hall, Church, Park, Sport Palace, School. Look. Bank, sport palace, school, church, city hall. Do you know what it says the city hall? The city hall is the alcaldía, okay? Book work, arrows company, restaurant, mall, and park. Now look, we have various streets. We got Roosevelt Street. We got First Avenue. And we have Second Avenue. Now, Something that I need you to remember is this. Well, let's check first something. Which street is the restaurant on? The restaurant is on which street? Okay, the restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt street. Listen, on, 
on. Which street is the hall on? The city hall is. Actually, it is in the corner of Roosevelt and Second Avenue. You can say the city hall is on Second Avenue, or you can say the city hall is on Roosevelt because we got access in both sides. Now, which street is the park on? The park is on. Look the question. Street. The park is between Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Now, today we are just going to work with on, in, at. Okay, but I'm going to, to explain to you. I'm sorry. Okay, I need to explain a little something to you. Let me see, let me see. I got it right here. Okay. In, on, at. Let's remember something. A preposition of place. First of all, let's remember that. A preposition of place is a word which helps us to describe where something or somebody is. Okay? So we say, una preposición de lugar nos ayuda a decir dónde está algo o alguien. So, it, is, it describes the location of something. Now, there are many many different prepositions of place in the English. But today we are just going to be working with three. The first one, at. Do you remember, you just explained to me, when do we use at? When we use it as a preposition of time. La misma que vimos como preposiciones de tiempo, ahora la estamos viendo the place. Do you remember, when do we use at? ¿Se recuerdan cuando usamos at as a preposition of time? Yes. Right. Uh, so it's an hour. At okay. Specific, right? Precise. Exactly, right? Si se recuerdan, decíamos cuando vamos a escribir algo específico, exacto. It's exactly the same as a prepositional place. Because at, we can use it to describe a very specific point of place. So, like if you say uh, there is a dog at the top of the steps. Okay, hold on, let's do something. Just give me a second. Like this. We got there is a dog at the top of the steps. Okay. Steps, gradas. Right? So, there is a dog. Hay un perro. ¿A dónde? At the top. Al final de las gradas. Specifically, at the top. So, when we say at the top of the steps, we are referring to the, the highest point of the step. Nos referimos al highest Highest point of the steps. Estamos hablando del punto más alto de la grada. Another example. Okay, we can say. Uh, somebody is at the door. Listen, the, the bell is ringing. Suena el timbre. And you say, hey, somebody is at the door. Hay alguien en la puerta, decimos nosotros, right? Hay alguien en la puerta. Somebody is at the door. Got it? I'm going to write this sentence for you here in the chat. Somebody is at the door. We are being specific. Okay? Don't worry. Tomorrow I will give them to you in a presentation. Mañana se las pongo en una presentación. We're going to do like last time. Recuerdan la semana pasada, primero les expliqué, luego les puse la presentación. But first I want you to get the idea. Okay? I know that there are just like one or two of you, solo son como dos de ustedes que prefieren ver primero written. But that's special. Okay? Let's continue. Another example could be, uh, Mauricio is at home right now. 
Mauricio is at home right now. Right, Mauricio? Yes. Okay, he is at home. Él está en casa. Okay. I can say that Edwin is finally at home because he was traveling. He was listening to the class, but he was traveling. But right now, in this moment, he is at home. Él está en casa. I am being very specific. Okay. Another example could be. Okay. Uh, there is a supermarket at Metro Centro, right? There is a supermarket at Metro Centro. Hay un supermercado en Metro Centro. We say en in Spanish. But in English, when you want to say the specific location, you say at. Okay? Let's continue. Okay. Uh, now, we also use at if somebody has gone to a building and we want to describe um, like roughly, roughly where the person is. También usamos si alguien ha, por ejemplo, entrado a un edificio y queremos decir dónde está. Like, for example, imagine that uh, we go together we got together to, to eat something. Salimos a comer todos juntos, okay? Now, uh, uh, the moment that we are going out, we are leaving, en el momento que vamos saliendo, we don't see Hugo, no vemos a Hugo. And we say, hey, where's Hugo? And somebody says, oh, Hugo is still at the restaurant. Hugo está aún en el restaurante. We are in the parking lot. Nosotros ya estamos en el parqueo. But Hugo is still at the restaurant. ¿En qué parte del restaurante? We don't know. But we know the location. Así que de una manera general decimos dónde está. Ok. But at the same time, we realize that uh, Sonia is not there. Nos damos cuenta que Sonia tampoco está. And we ask, what about Sonia? Where is she? And Evelyn tells me, oh, don't worry. She is in the bathroom. En este caso cambió. You see? Because we are being exactly the place inside the other place. We are going to get to it. Don't worry. Let's continue with at. So, uh, I'm sorry. We go now to in. In. Okay. We use in to talk about an enclosed space. Utilizamos in cuando nos referimos a un lugar cerrado. Or a place which is surrounded by boundaries. O un lugar que está rodeado por límites. Like for example, eh, let's see, who's got little kiddos? ¿Quién tiene chiquitos? ¿Quién dijo que tenía chiquitos? Walter, Walter's got little kiddos. Walter Arana. Walter Arana tiene chiquitos. Right, Walter? You got two? Right. Okay, two he's got two. Yeah. So, Walter asks his wife, Hey, look, where are the kids? Él le pregunta a la esposa, ¿Dónde están los niños? And his wife tells him, y la esposa le dice, They are in the patio. Or they are in the backyard. En el patio trasero. Okay. It's an enclosed space. Es un espacio cerrado. We use in when we refer to an enclosed space. Like in the previous example, I said, oh, Sonia is in the bathroom. It's an enclosed space. Un lugar cerrado. Or a place surrounded by boundaries. O un lugar delimitado por límites. Valga la redundancia. I don't know how to say that in Spanish. I'm sorry. Se me va la expresión en español. Up to here. ¿Cómo vamos hasta acá? Soso. Don't worry, don't worry. Con Soso me conformo ahorita. Mañana le voy a poner la PowerPoint. Ok. Don't worry. Let's continue. Ok. Uh, you can say 
I have a, I have my cell phone in my backpack. Tengo mi teléfono in my backpack. Okay, I'm talking about an enclosed space. And we use it for towns and cities. Lo utilizamos para pueblos y ciudades. Like, I was born in San Salvador. Like uh, Walter Ruiz, if I'm not mistaken, he lives in Armenia, right, Walter Ruiz? Yes, teacher. And sure. you and you work in Ateos, right? Yeah. Okay. I am saying the name of the town. Digo el nombre del town, del pueblo, o de la ciudad. That in those situations I use in. Okay. So we do not say at. Cuando nos referimos así a la ciudad específica con el nombre, no decimos at. Okay. Like, I cannot say, I live at San Martín. I live in San Martín, right? I cannot say, I live at San Martín. I cannot say, Vladimir lives at Ilopango. Vladimir lives in Ilopango, okay? Sonia works in San Salvador, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Questions up to here? ¿Cómo vamos hasta acá? We cool? Perfect. Let's continue. Now, 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 now. On. Well, on we use it as a preposition of place got different meanings. One of them is uh, when somebody is on the surface of another thing. Cuando algo está en la superficie de otra cosa. And you get like, what? It is, look. Okay. My cup, my cup is on my hand, right? My computer is on my desk. Simplemente puede significar sobre, okay? Now, let's be careful. Sobre, no encima. There's a difference. Hay una diferencia, okay? On means exactly on top. On significa exactamente encima. ¿Ok? Sobre, when we say sobre, can be a space. Puede haber un espacio. And that's in English is different. ¿Ok? Above. ¿Ok? Let's continue. Okay. Like uh, we say, my books are on the table, my computer is on the table. Uh, sometimes we use on also if something is attached or joined to something else. También utilizamos cuando decimos que algo está unido a otra cosa. Like an example, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ladies, let's see, Susana, tell me. Tell me, Susana, are you wearing a ring on your finger? I don't have okay. a ring at my finger. Okay, let's see. Who's wearing a ring, a ring on his finger? Nobody. Cool. Me neither. So, when something is attached, like in the case of a ring, we have it on. Okay. Or like in the case of, let's see, let's see, Evelyn. Yes, Evelyn. Evelyn has earrings on her earlobe, right? She's got earrings on her earlobes. Earlobes are this little thing right here, okay? I don't know what, it, what it's called in Spanish. No sé cómo se llama en español. Lóbulo. That's the correct expression. Lóbulo. So, Evelyn's wearing earrings on her earlobes, right? 
specific and it's attached. Está unido. Let's continue because we still haven't get to, to what we want. Now, if something is directly next to a river, as an example, we use the preposition on. Like uh, the border is, let's see, let's see. Oh, la chadura is on river pass, right? Si es el río pass, yes. La chadura is on river pass. London is on the river the, the Thames. Yes, si el Thames is right. Yep, 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 yep. London is on the river Thames. London, Londres, está en el río Tánesis. But it's exactly next to it, on the river, on the border. Está realmente a, a la orilla del río. So we use on, when something is like on the river. Está en la ribera. That's the word. Now, uh, let's see. In this case, right now, we are using it, and I'm going to show it to you, specifically for addresses. Look, we also use on when we talk about the avenue, on the corner, on the street. We use in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood. Remember, si decimos el nombre del lugar, the town of the city, we use, or the country, we use in. If it's an enclosed or limited or a place with boundaries, si es un lugar cerrado o con limites, with boundaries, in the park, in the neighborhood. Neighborhood, what is this? La colonia, okay? When we talk about our neighborhoods, cuando hablamos de nuestras colonias, donde vivimos, it doesn't necessarily need to have a, to be enclosed, no necesariamente están cerradas, okay? But you know where your neighborhood starts and where it ends. Pero usted sabe dónde inicia su colonia y dónde termina, right? So you know that it's in your neighborhood, okay? Let's continue. Okay, at at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. Now, guys, we got here six sentences that we are going to solve. These sentences we have to fill in using the prepositions of place. Estas las vamos a llenar utilizando las prepositions of place. Okay, you got it ready there, and I need you to please, necesito que por favor, do it pretty, do them let's, as fast as possible, okay, because we need to do an other activity. So, we have to fill in those spaces. We are going to be working in small groups. Please guys, jump in. Three minutes for this activity, hurry up.
En la tercera, las dos serían min. Min, la primera es min, la segunda. Uno, dos, sin de cuenta, mi Y acá. In. We, are we are in at the meeting room. Ahí me perdimos. We are sí, at, at the meeting. We are ah. at the meeting room. At the meeting room. Pero ya está at nuevamente. At, at. We are at at no, we are at. No. No. We are in at no. no. Ni esa ya tengo duda. At the meeting room. It's a mistake. Teacher. Teacher. Which teacher. one is it? ¿Cuál es? Number six. Yeah. Exercise five. At. Page 40. At. Eh. Yes, there it is. At. Uh -huh. Pero está dos veces. Uh -huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. In this case, at. I'm sorry, I forgot telling you. Se me olvidó decirles. Okay, where is it? Where is ya está contestada. Yes. As a result. Yep. Okay. We got it, teacher. Okay, cool. Just let me check the last group. Hey, teacher. At, sí, es cerrado. At, at, at es el cerrado. Okay. At the bank, at the work, and the mating room. Sí, es at, at, entonces. entonces. At, at. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Anna work in, in the company that in, is on town. Is, on town. Para mí es on. Uh -huh. Okay. Oh, in, no, in town. In town. is in town. That is in, in town. town. Uh -huh. in. Yeah. in town. Okay. Fine. Sure. Es un in, lugar específico. In the town. Okay. Yes. In the town. In the, in the uh -huh. town. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In the town. My relat relatives go to the mall that... Yes. Is on, on Roosevelt Street. On Roosevelt Street. The most on difficult Roosevelt. is number six. La más difícil es la número seis. Nah, la más difícil uh, hasta ahorita ha sido la tres. <laughs> number six the is the answer already. La número seis ya, está re, ya tiene la respuesta. Sí, es la at. Tell him that we are at. Ah, no. Es cierto, ahí está ya la respuesta. Yep. The, uh, at the meeting. No podemos poner at, 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 at. Jimena, deja ya eso, por favor. Manda que lávate los dientes y te vas a acostar ya. That's serious. Tough. 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 Duro. <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to read for you. Voy a leer para ustedes, okay? I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrios Street. Their factory is located in La Libertad. Number three, Sonia. Uh, we see you at training room or at the cafeteria. Perfect. Number four, Hugo. Mm -hmm. Anna works in the company that, that is in town. Perfect. Number five. Let's see. Number five, Mr. Ruiz. Okay. My relatives to go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Okay, perfect. And number six, it was easy, no? Well, Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. They made a mistake with number six. Okay, now guys, let's see. For tomorrow, before we move on, antes que avancemos, 
your extra homework. Una tarea extra. Page number 40, exercise 6. You have to bring your map. Okay? Because we are going to use it in a teamwork. En un trabajo de equipo lo vamos a utilizar. So, in a piece of paper. If you can do it in the computer, perfect. If you cannot, in a piece of paper. If you want, sure. you can take a screenshot of Google Map. Yes, Vladimir? Yes, that. Uh, may I use Google Maps? But yeah. you can do. Yeah, you can, you can do it on a piece of paper and put it in the camera. No problem. You can do it on the computer. No problem. You can take a screenshot of Google Maps and bring it like that. Perfect. Because tomorrow, one of the exercises is going to be, we are going to tell to the class where where our workplace is located, but using the map. How so? Como así? Simple. You are going to use in the corner of, on this street, next to, al lado de, between. And you tell me, teacher, you have not explained those words. Y usted me dirá, no me las ha explicado. That's right, that's why it's a homework. Por eso está Dirección allá. salvadoreña. No, 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 no. No salvadorian way. Okay. Salvadorian addresses are weird. Las direcciones salvadoreñas son raras. Okay, okay. Now let's continue. Let's see. Par de la pizza hat. Arriba, enfrente hay un palo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see, let's see. We are going to do another teamwork, but I will pass by every group telling you what do I want you to tell me, okay? So I'm going to be fast. The activity is like this. I'm going to divide you in groups and I'm going to ask you, please tell me where, where can I find this specific place? Lo voy a ir en grupos, le voy a decir. Por favor, explíquenme dónde se ubica este lugar en particular. Don't worry, these are common places. Son lugares fáciles, ¿ok? Let's see. I'm going to divide you right now. No divido en este momento. Please jump in. Evelyn. Hello. Hi. Teacher. Okay, guys. Can you confirm, please? Okay. You need to tell me where Salvador del Mundo is. Evelyn todavía se le está conectando oh. el audio, Susana. Okay. Hola, hola. Perdón, porque qué difícil ha sido. Por el Salvador, del Salvador del Mundo. Yes. Mundo. Okay. Oh, no. Remember, me dicen el departamento, la ciudad, La calle, ok. Ah, la calle. Ah, remember, in, on, at. <laughs> sí, le di, sí. <laughs> ok, guys, in your case. Hello, metro yes. centro, metro centro. Uh, metro centro. Yes, metro centro. I, listen up. I need the department, the city, the street. The department, okay. metro centro is in San Salvador. You start um, like that. Por ahí comienza. Sí, primero Dios. Quiero. Okay, guys. Quiero. What do you want? What do you want? ¿Qué quiere? Uh, continue the I classroom. The classes. Uh -huh. Sí. Hey, by the way, este, ya mandaron documento, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, last week. Eh, tengo que preguntar. Uh -huh. Hurry up. Te va a llevar el otro grupo. Now, in your no. case, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, no sé. I don't know. Who's, who's no frozen? No escucho, nada. 
No, no, no. Worry, don't worry. Está lento, pero se, se oye. Se congeló en We can corta. hear you. Sí la oímos. Y yo le escucho a todos. Yeah, let's see. Yo igual. Noodles. 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 Hola, hola. Okay, hello, Claudia. Okay, guys, in your case, you need to explain to me. Ustedes necesitan explicarme. Where is Galerías? Escalón. Ah, okay. I need. Busquemos I need. The, listen up. No, no, don't look for that. Listen up. I need the department, the city, the street. Okay? Vas a vender al escalón. The per Departamento, ciudad, calle. On, in, at. Uh -huh. Remember. On, in, at. Okay. 60 seconds. Hurry up. Okay, veamos. Galerías. Okay. Yes. Yes. Entonces. Okay. We say. No. Hurry up. We say. Salvador del Mundo is in San Salvador. Between Boulevard Roosevelt. Plaza México, va, Metro Centro sí está en la calle Sisimiles. Ajá, Sisimiles eh, Street. In, on, or at? On Sisimiles Street. On, perfect. Ah, en, en Boulevard. Héroes Boulevard sería. Ajá. Yeah. Uh -huh. En los, Boulevard, ajá. Uh -huh. Los on, Héroes Boulevard. Oh. On Los Héroes Boulevard. Uh -huh. On Los Héroes Boulevard. De Parme San Salvador. City San Salvador. City, San of, Salvador. City of San Salvador. City of San Salvador. Thank you. Así quedaría. A menos que usted diga in San Salvador City. Ah, ok. In San Salvador City. In San Salvador City. Ready? Yes. Ready. Excellent. Just wait for everybody to come back. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, now it's everybody here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, group number two was Edwin and Vladimir. Edwin, you tell me, please. Yes. And Metro Centro. Okay, Metro Centro. Uh, Queda en Sisimile Strip. Es eh, lo que es. Sorry, sorry, teacher, no tome toda esa parte de la clase. Yeah, Venía en camino. Es lo que es. Es lo que es. Es lo que es. En Sisimile Sisimile Strip en los Héroes Boulevard en oh. San Salvador City. Perfect, excelente, thank you. Now let's Thanks, see. Teacher. Next group. Let's see, next group was Evelyn, Hugo, Susana, and Walter Ruiz. Hugo, you represent your group. Where's Hugo? Oh, there he is. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, tell me. Eh, Salvador del Mundo is between Roosevelt Avenue and Paseo General Escalón in San Salvador. Excellent, thank you very much. Now, 
Let's see, the last group was Mauricio, Sonia, and Walter Arana. Mauricio, you represent your group. Um, Mall Galleries is located in El Salvador in the Department of San Salvador on Paseo General Escalón. Okay, everything is perfect. Just remember, Galerías Mall. Galerías Mall, Mall okay. Galerías. Remember that it's the given name, es el nombre propio. We won't change it. No lo vamos a cambiar, okay? Yes. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, guys, before the next activity, antes de la próxima actividad, que ahorita que antes que se me vayan más, eh, dos cosas. Una, perdón, voy a hacer la pausa en mi español. Esta semana, las actividades de la plataforma lo voy a estar recordando cada clase. Las actividades de la plataforma las necesito hechas para antes de la clase del día viernes. El día viernes tan pronto termine la clase. Yo voy a pasar esas notas al cuadro. Porque ese reporte se va a primera hora para ese corte. Entonces, yo debo de ingresar. Yo tengo hasta las 12 de la noche. Ok, del día viernes. Pero no voy a estar a la noche de la noche. Ok. So, please, before, si tienen alguna duda con alguna de las actividades, me preguntan. Igual, el final exam, le vamos a dar una repasada en la clase del día jueves. Vamos a dar una revisada al final exam. El día jueves, acá en la clase, voy a pasar 10 minutos para que al menos veamos las instrucciones, la estructura. Now, something else. Algo más. Eh... Día miércoles esperaría yo que les estén enviando a sus correos el formato para la carta de la nota de satisfacción. Este es un requerimiento que hace Insafor. Quienes ya han tomado cursos con Insafor, están conscientes, siempre al finalizar los cursos les piden eso. ¿Ok? Ahora bien, es, les van a enviar un enlace y les van a enviar unos datos. Esa nota de satisfacción la vamos a, al menos las generalidades, porque es en lo que yo me meto en la generalidad y ya la calificación, pues eso ya es individual. Las generalidades las vamos a ir llenando juntos nosotros el día viernes acá en la clase. Eh, les voy a estar confirmando la hora exacta en la que lo vamos a hacer porque va a estar alguien de soporte técnico, en, específicamente en nuestro grupo, para ayudarnos por si hay alguna duda. Pero igual, eh, al menos las instrucciones generales, espero tenérselas preparadas en una PowerPoint para que vayamos todos juntos paso por paso. ¿Ok? Claro, viene, hay cuestiones que usted responde personal. Las generalidades en las que yo le voy a apoyar. Porque hay detalles que Insafor es extremadamente específico. Y si no lo hacemos en este formato y con los detalles que ellos nos piden, por un espacio le van a estar llamando el día sábado a usted para que lo repita. A nuestra satisfacción. Porque si un pequeño detalle no va tal cual ellos lo tienen registrado, se lo van a rebotar. Y también es un requisito no solo para nosotros como la empresa, sino también para ustedes, para poder para que Insafor le valide la inscripción del siguiente. ¿Ok? Entonces, lo vamos a hacer juntos. Les aviso para que cuando lo reciban, no se me vayan a emocionar a llenarlo. Lo vamos a hacer juntos. Al menos las generalidades, ¿ok? Recuérdense, lo otro ustedes lo van a hacer solitos. Porque hay detalles, como por ejemplo, de que cuando usted lo haya finalizado, me va a mandar la captura de pantalla de que ya lo finalizó por medio del grupo de WhatsApp, me le va a poner el nombre, yo le voy a mostrar cómo. Cómo tiene que venir todo eso, porque igual es para un registro interno, eso sí me lo piden a mí. ¿Ok? Es sencillo, lo único que, como les digo, algunos detalles tienen que ser tal cual ellos lo tienen registrado, entonces lo vamos a hacer juntos. Ok. Esos fueron los anuncios sociales. Let's continue. Now, if you notice, we were doing something that it was pretty easy and you did perfectly. I think the preposition of place was easier for you than the prepositions of time. Me doy cuenta que las preposiciones de lugar como que les están siendo más fáciles que las de tiempo. The same word, but as preposition of place for you uh, have been easy cheesy. Now, we are going to go back to the group. You are going to have two minutes. 
We are going to be talking about the same place, but we are going to add something else. Le vamos a agregar algo más. Okay? I'm going to divide you and I'm going to pass by very fast. Jump in, please. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. ¿Cuál era el de ustedes? What was yours? El Salvador del Mundo. Okay. Hola. Hello, Evelyn. Tell me, where is Mr. Donuts in Salvador del Mundo? The same. Solo que ahora me le agregan la ubicación específica de Mr. Donuts. Ok. All the campaign, okay. Okay. No, there's one. Actually, Susana, sí. there's one right in front. Hay uno que está cabal enfrente. Ay, sí, pero no me acuerdo cómo se llama. Okay, guys. You got yeah. uh, Metro Centro, right? Right. Yeah. Perfect, guys. You are going to tell me where's Sambors. Where's Sambor? But Sambors in Metro Centro. Sambors. Ah, Sambors. Sambors is in... Mm. The eighth, la octava. Octava, eighth, etapa. Oh, no. Hey, Teacher. You got, you got galerias, right? Yes. Okay, for you it's going to be easy. Tell me, please, where is Nautica's store at Galeria? Ahora resulta. Specifically, I want from big to small or from small to big. Me lo pueden decir. Small. Departamento, city, place, and the location. Or you can start by the location. Ah, ok. Tenemos que decirle que eh, in, la tienda yes. in the, in the in at gallery is small. Okay. ok. Gracias. Hurry up. To Ay, no, no les entiendo. Calmado. Es que tiene, le estoy diciendo, le estoy diciendo que tiene visitas, entonces se le han pegado al Inter y están viendo YouTube, entonces oh, se yeah. le ha topado el Inter. Yeah, Eso me pasa good. a mí Mira, en mi casa. Solo yo veo el, el teacher. Solo yo. No, no, solo tú. Solo, tú. solo yo los veo congelados al teacher y aguanto. Yes. Sí. No. ¿En serio? Sí. No les entiendo. Sí, porque yo me estoy moviendo completamente. The shut, the shut, the shut, the shut. Es que es una foto, les voy a tomar. Qué, qué terrible. Un está. video. <risa> Ahora Mira, sí lo voy a tomar. Ahorita, por ratos. Vaya, pero la cosa es que quiere que le digamos la tienda de náutica en Galicia. Avenue, 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 Avenue sí está. Ah, no, pero es Alameda. Pero es Alameda, sería Boulevard. Sí, sí. Roosevelt. Sí, sí. On the corner, on the corner of... Y en ese caso, ¿cómo se hace referencia para decir que está entre la Alameda Roosevelt y la 63 Avenida. O sea, esa esquina... Between, como... between. Ah, es between. Es que, es que listen, sí. listen, Susana, escucha a sus compañeros. Hugo le acaba de decir, si, el, si está diciendo en esquina es on the corner o. Oh. Si es entre... Between. Si es between, es entre, pero entre no es lo mismo que en la esquina B. Between es una calle pasa este lado, la otra pasa este lado. But if you are talking on the corner of, donde dos calles se juntan, that's on the corner of. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. 60 seconds. Entonces sí sería en la esquina de... Donut.
Okay, okay, let's see. People's coming back. Now, let's see, before we move on, antes que nos movamos. Attendance, Amparo Yajaira. Antonia Elizabeth absent. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro. Claudia, gone with the win. Okay, let's see. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Thank you, Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Hugo Ernesto Arevalo Mora. Present teacher. Indiana de Jesús Obando, absent. Indiana María Doña, absent. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez, absent. Karen Alejandra Flores, somewhere around. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Roxana Claribel Trejos. Sandra Yanira Moreno. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández. Present. Vanessa del Pilar Quintanilla. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Yanira del Carmen Paz de Salazar. Okay, guys, let's see. Now, we just have a couple of minutes. Group number one was Evelyn, Hugo, Susana, and Walter Ruiz. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ladies' turn. Turno las chicas. Evelyn, your turn. You represent your group. Okay. Uh, the Mr. Donut is located in the center commercial, the Campana, on the corner of 63 uh, Avenue South, South and, Avenue South uh, Avenue South Avenue South Avenue and uh, Roosevelt Boulevard Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Next group. Next group is Edwin Daniel and Vladimir, Vladimir, your turn. Okay. Uh, in, in our case, was Sambors. Sambors was in Metro Centro. Was close. Yes, was close. I don't yes. know Metro Centro. <laughs> uh, what else have we? Okay. What else? It's in the center of, in, in the corner of in the corner of state A. Actually, be the pandemic, the mall is closed. By the no, By. because of because of because of the pandemic, the mall is closed. Oh, really? The mall is closed. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, That's the news that that research Edwin. <laughs> yeah, interesting because. The problem is that I don't go to Metro Center. So <laughs> I hate parking there. Odio el parqueo. Solo la Gran Vía dice que visit. No, really. Realmente no. The only one I visit the most is Galerías. It's easier to park. Es más fácil parquearse. But parking at Metro Centro, that's terrible. Horrible. It has parking, teacher. What? I told you, doesn't has parking because... I go to, well, I take my wife every day. Yeah, but parking there for me is like that. Okay, let's see, let's see the last group, the last group. Thanks, teacher. No, thanks to you guys. The last group is Mauricio, Sonia, and Walter Arana. Sonia, your turn. Relax, Walter, not you today. Sonia. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The Nautica's store is located in San Salvador, in Galerías Mall, on Paseo General Escalón. Okay, perfect, simple. Excellent, excellent. Now, guys, mm -hmm. 
let's make a small review. Actually, what I want you to remember is the homework. What you are going to do, bring the map, but not just bring the map, analyze it. Analyze it. Try to be sure where you work, that you are able to explain the location because that's what you are going to do tomorrow to your classmates in groups. And you need to be as clear as possible because I'm going to ask not you, your classmates about your workplace. Tenemos que ser muy claros en la explicación porque no les voy a preguntar sobre la de ustedes, sino sobre sus compañeros. Ok. So, don't forget the homework, please. Let's see. I think that is all. Uh, thank you, guys. Se nos fue el tiempo. Cool. It was nice having you here. Los que me deben actividad, me la mandan, please. The extra activity. Los que no les he mandado, ya les voy a escribir y les voy a contar por qué. Ok. So, thank you very much. Have a good evening. Take care. Good evening to everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good night. Actually, actually, good night. 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 Good night, everybody. Enjoy, Sonia. Now you can enjoy. No lo escucho. Yeah, Teacher. she never does. Teacher, solo una cosa. Eh... Okay. Excelente. Bye. Bye-bye, Evelyn. Take care. Have a good night. Bueno. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.